Hello all. So in this tutorial, we are just going to model a stylish center table in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So a small tutorial. So let's go into rendering view image file. Let's take a, a reference over here. So how you're going to model this table. So let's go on to the top view over here. And let's take a line tool over here. Let's take a line tool. All right. So once you have done with this, we can just adjust this select this so push this you can push this over here you can just push this if you require it select this and let's give a bit of uh, fillet to it if you require a fillet so let's go into this rendering enabling viewport and this vertices undo this so we will be selecting this and make it as a corner for now so right click make it more smoother make it rectangular and increase its uh, width over here so easily you can just increase its width and the length over here accordingly so length you have to increase it more and just push that up so select this vertices and also you have some fillet options over here if you require like to use a fillet you can use a bit of fillet over here also and also you can use a bit of fillet over here that's it so if you don't need this you can just uh, delete this and you can just right click refine you can add some point over here in this that's it right click refine add a point over here also in this way all right so let's go to the top view and let's take a circle so we don't need a perfect circle we need a kind of a oval shape over here like this make it much bigger and let's give a extrude modifier for that so we can just extrude it and let's just push that out so once it is done you just want to show a normal glass so let's just give a standard or you can just give a architectural over here and let's just give a glass clear over here So, you can reduce its transparency much better. Too. Select this, we can just give a wooden texture, basic wooden texture over here. So, let's go into the standard material, go into this bitmap, 
will go into this and you can give some kind of a wooden texture to it just to give it a look over here that's it if you want to make it more of a specular or something you can just give that much better and let's just draw a plane at the bottom that's it looks much better over here you can resize it if required that's it all right So you want to make a cup or something you can go with that just take a teapot on top of it go into this and reduce the spout and the lead and just give a tapper modifier over here and scale this convert to poly and just scale it that's it you can make copies over here that's it all right So you can just convert to editable poly, select the glass, you can give a bit of uh, chamfer to the glass, you can just select this and give a bit of chamfer to it. and click ok that's it so select the bottom what edges and give the same check click ok alright so save your file so thanks for watching this tutorial